And to think, when a lot of these shows first aired, DVRs weren't even a thing. Hey guys, I'm Rebecca from Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 TV show anniversaries in 2019. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. That means we're taking a look at shows that are celebrating very special birthdays this year. In other words, shows that had their US premieres 10, 20, or even 30 plus years ago. We are including currently running shows as well as shows that have ended. All right, let's watch. Number 20, ER, 25 years old. It is insane to think that ER ended a decade ago, but what's even more surreal is that the two hour pilot aired 25 years ago. Bring her back for me, baby. Come on back to us. Come on, baby. Yes. Fresh off the success of Jurassic Park, creator Michael Crichton and producer Steven Spielberg reunited for this medical drama, initially intended to be a feature film. Come on. Come on, ask me a tough one. Let's go. The series launched several actors into mainstream stardom, most notably George Clooney as Dr. Doug Ross. Throughout its impressive 15-year run, ER accumulated a whopping 124 Emmy nominations, with season two winning the Outstanding Drama Series Award. Number 19, Baywatch. 30 years old. Believe it or not, NBC pulled the plug on this iconic series after only one season. That's Scott! He killed that girl, man! He's the one! Let's get him! When Baywatch made the move to syndication, however, it exploded into a television juggernaut that lasted another decade and inspired numerous spin-offs. Help! Help! Centering on beautiful lifeguards who spend most of their time running in slow motion on the beach, the premise was admittedly bare bones, but that's exactly what made Baywatch so accessible and fun to watch. Lifeguard! Lifeguard! I can't find my daughter! Okay, what does she look like? She's six years old, she has blonde hair and blue eyes. The series also jumpstarted the careers of David Hasselhoff, Pamela Anderson, and wait, is that Jason Momoa? Number 18, Saved by the Bell, 30 years old. A retooling of the comedy Good Morning, Miss Bliss, Saved by the Bell hit the scene in 1989 and became a staple of 90s teen sitcoms. Oh, go ahead, Zach. I'm dying to see you dance. Yeah, dazzle us, preppy. From the corny intro song to the over-the-top fashion, it is obvious that the show was a product of the time. However, that is precisely why we still get a kick out of it today. There you are, Zach. I've been looking all over for I, you. you. Time out! Whether Zach was freezing his surroundings by simply saying time out, or Jesse was learning a very special lesson about addiction, this 30-year-old series is so retro, it's strangely timeless. Number 17, Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? 50 years old. This Hanna-Barbera cartoon initially ran for just 25 episodes, with another 16 airing in 1978. Well, gang, it looks like we're up to our armor plates and another mystery. The adventures of Scooby and the gang were far from over, however, as they've continued to solve mysteries in numerous spin-off shows and movies. Mr. Roger Stevens, the TV station manager. A new animated theatrical film is even coming in 2020. The franchise hasn't strayed far from its roots over the past 50 years, right down to the fact that voice actor Frank Welker is still part of the principal cast. Hey, if something isn't broken though, why fix it? Never change, Scooby-Doo. Your dog must have scared her. Dog? What dog? Number 16, Cops, 30 years old. Before Big Brother, Survivor, and even the real world, a little show called Cops ignited our fascination with reality television. Come here, pipe car! Yeah. Due to the 1988 Writers Guild of America strike, Fox decided to take a chance on an unscripted, inexpensive series about police officers. He says, I'm gonna shoot you in that dog that's okay. off and leash. Okay, and is that when you drew your weapon and fired? No, I didn't have the weapon. Cops not only became an unexpected hit, but the bad boys are still busting criminals 30 years later. So when you think about it, a strike intended to support television writers ironically helped popularize a genre that doesn't require writers. For Fox executives, Cops was poetic justice. Love you, Rachel. Number 15, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? 20 years old. This quiz show is still airing in syndication, but remember when it was an unstoppable ratings powerhouse? Final answer. Final answer. This series was such a phenomenon that ABC aired three episodes weekly, 
and by the end of the 1999-2000 television season, Millionaire had claimed the three highest rated spots according to Nielsen Media Research. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. Audience interest inevitably declined once the show started airing five episodes per week. For a period, though, sitting across from Regis Philbin with the chance to win a million dollars was basically the American dream. Number 14. Shark Tank, 10 years old. If you want to grab attention for a new product, there's no better place to promote it than on this reality series. In the end, you need cash, my friend. I'm making you an offer. Never disrespect the cash. Even if you don't make a deal, simply getting your feet wet in the shark tank can still benefit your business. Just look at Coat Checks or CBS Food, both of which gain traction despite being rejected by the panel of sharks. I'd be buying more into you because you're a great guy than buying into the business. So, I'm out. Whether pitches are successful or not, Shark Tank has provided a unique platform for entrepreneurs over the last decade and is a staple of reality TV. Number 13, NCIS Los Angeles, 10 years old. In early 2009, NCIS released a two-part episode that served as a backdoor pilot for a spinoff. Special Agent G. Callen would return the following television season, and NCIS Los Angeles has been going strong ever since. While its police procedural format may be familiar, the well-defined characters have kept us coming back over the past decade. It's McGuire. He's not really dead. Even in season 10, the series managed to pack an emotional punch with the long-awaited wedding between Kenzie and Deeks. Whatever the future holds for the LA team, we're sure it'll be legendary. Number 12, Modern Family, 10 years old. Manny and Alex might have acted old for their age when we first met them in 2009, but now they're both full-fledged adults. We dump these clean up pretty well when we want to, don't we? Are you kidding me? They aren't the only ones who've grown over the past 10 years. Lily is now a preteen, Luke is in college, and Haley is having babies of her own. Are they smiling? You're pregnant? Yes. Which makes Gloria a step-great-grandmother. We've spent so much time with the Pritchett, Delgado, Dunphy, Tucker clan that they practically feel like family and we'll be sad to say goodbye once the 11th and final season wraps up. Let's just get out of here. Oh, now? Okay. Number 11, America's Funniest Home Videos, 30 years old. When this comedy clip series first aired, it was supposed to be just a one-off hour-long special. Another bite and who knows what'll happen. Whoa, whoa. Who'd have thought that the special would amount to a hit series that continues to bring the chuckles today? For that matter, who knew that one day Carlton Banks would follow in the footsteps of Danny Tanner as host? Sometimes our writers come up with clever titles for the video segments we do. What's especially surprising about America's Funniest Home Videos is that it surpassed the lifespan of VHS tapes and still manages to attract solid viewership even in a YouTube era. Let that camera roll. Number 10, Lost, 15 years old. In 2004, TV audiences generally weren't used to dramas with serialized stories or high-concept ideas. It quickly became clear, however, that Lost wasn't going to be like anything we'd ever seen before. With its large ensemble, complex lore, and overarching mystery, it helped push the television medium to a new frontier. Fifteen years later, audiences have mixed feelings about the series on the whole, largely due to its divisive ending. Without the success of Lost, though, it's safe to say that ambitious TV shows wouldn't be nearly as widespread today. We have to go back, Kate. Number 9. Seinfeld, 30 years old. At a time when sitcoms were mostly about marriage, family values, and the workforce, Seinfeld addressed issues like getting lost in a parking garage and waiting at a Chinese restaurant. Seinfeld? Yes, yeah, Seinfeld Fault! No, no, no. Focusing on the most mundane, inconsequential, and shallow dilemmas, the series was a slice of life that anyone could find the humor in. So we go into NBC, we tell them we got an idea for a show about nothing. Exactly. They say, what's your show about? I say nothing. There you go. <laughs> I think you may have something here. Perhaps that's why Seinfeld has aged so well. The world has changed a lot throughout the past 30 years, but muffin tops are still delicious, junk mail is still a nuisance, and shrinkage still plagues men everywhere. I was in the pool! Number 8, The Sopranos. 20 years old. We are currently in a television renaissance, and many would point to this series as the trailblazer. So you had coffee. Right. The Sopranos helped define contemporary dramas with its cinematic production values, uncompromising writing, and morally ambiguous characters. I'm old school. 
I don't believe in a separation shit and, and divorce. Tony Soprano is the anti-hero archetype, acting as the patriarch of a nuclear family and a mob family, both of which are equally chaotic. F forget about the way that Tony Soprano makes his way in the world. That's just to feed his children. There's two Tony Sopranos. The series marked the end of the clean-cut 90s and the beginning of the gritty 2000s, ushering audiences into a new era and setting the stage for the next 20 years of television. Focus on the good times. Don't be sarcastic. Number 7. Futurama, 20 years old. This animated series provided a reflection of modern times through a futuristic lens. Looking back 20 years later, though, some of the show's advanced technology has actually come to fruition, including a telescope that can smell distant odors and virtual reality that focuses on tasks one could easily perform in the real world. Wow! I could swear I was really playing virtual skee-ball! Only time will tell if we'll be making deliveries aboard spaceships by the 30th century. All we know for sure is that the hilarious misadventures of the Planet Express crew will endure like a frozen pizza boy. Oh my gosh! This is all so sudden after 13 years. Number 6. Law and Order Special Victims Unit, 20 years old. The original Law and Order inspired several spin offs, but none has had the longevity of Special Victims Unit. You just verbally harassed the wife of a murder victim. She lied to a police officer. If anything, she's guilty of obstruction. One of the many reasons SVU stood out was its audacity to tackle sex crimes on network television. You did this. You sat there and you watched as a man rape one of your children and then murder the other. You might as well have killed him yourself! Its storylines regarding rape and pedophilia are just as relevant today as they were 20 years ago. Seeking out people who were starved for anything that would give them meaning in their life. They're easy marks. Mariska Hargitay's primetime Emmy-winning performance as Olivia Benson in particular has become a beacon of empowerment. With SVU set to become the longest-running live-action series ever in its 21st season, Lieutenant Benson will continue to inspire audiences. Number 5. SpongeBob SquarePants, 20 years old. Steven Hillenburg sadly passed away due to ALS in 2018, just under a year before his creation's 20th birthday. Who's a big yellow cube with holes? I am! At least we can take solace in knowing that part of Hillenburg will forever live on through SpongeBob and the other residents of Bikini Bottom. Is mayonnaise an instrument? While the series itself has never quite reached the heights of its first three seasons, SpongeBob himself has not lost his universal appeal, inspiring countless memes, a Tony-winning Broadway musical, and three theatrical films, one of which is set for a 2020 release. Number 4. Friends, 25 years old. The premise for this sitcom was nothing new, revolving around six single friends living in New York. Hi. <laughs> this guy says hello, I want to kill myself. Thanks to brilliant writing and a perfectly in-sync ensemble, however, Friends became one of its generation's defining sitcoms, not to mention one of the most re-watchable shows of the last 25 years. Look at me! I'm Chandler! Could I be wearing any more clothes? Whenever we're in need of a good laugh, a rerun of Friends will do the trick no matter how many times we've seen it. We were on a break, okay? <laughs> the characters and one-liners are just perennial. Now, if only we could get a reunion special. Number 3. Family Guy, 20 years old. Family Guy is not the show it was 20 years ago, with various critics talking about its decline in quality as of late. Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Nevertheless, the Griffin family has secured their place in television history for a variety of reasons. Man, you crazy, Jesus! You crazy! That's what my ex-wife said. The show's irreverent cutaway gags, detailed parodies, and fearless humor have shaped the modern landscape for adult animation. Most significant of all, it's demonstrated the importance of fandom. It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. Um... Isn't a parsec a unit of distance, not time? Being one of the first series to get revived thanks to its cult following, Family Guy gave hope to every prematurely canceled show. Number 2. The Simpsons, 30 years old. Like Family Guy, The Simpsons is another long-running animated series that's seen better days, but nobody can deny the impact it's had on audiences. Were you sent here by the devil? No good sir, I'm on the level. The ring came off my pudding can. Take my penknife, my good man! When the series made its debut 30 years ago, The Simpsons presented a surprisingly relatable portrait of a middle-class American family. That's it! You people have stood in my way long enough! I'm going to clown college! Ironically, a lot of live-action TV families felt like caricatures by comparison. 
Whereas most sitcoms portrayed families as wholesome and squeaky clean, The Simpsons presented an original message. Families are dysfunctional, but that doesn't mean they can't support one another in their own twisted way. You tried your best and you failed miserably. The lesson is never try. Number one, Sesame Street, 50 years old. Every generation has a show that they grew up with, but Sesame Street is probably the only one that spanned five generations. That's the alphabet? That's right. Oh, it's not a word. Sometimes the simplest life lessons are also the most important. We take book of nursery rhymes. All right. And a box of cookies, please. Big Bird, Cookie Monster, and the other residents of Sesame Street have been imparting these lessons onto young minds for 50 years. For many, Sesame Street not only taught them how to count and spell, but also how to deal with concepts like death and divorce. Six. Six? My favorite number is six. Furthermore, it's demonstrated that the best way to educate people is through creativity. I really wanted to like do an impression of Cookie Monster and like ruin a box of cookies, but they wouldn't let me make a mess, so whatever. Anyway, uh, are any of your favorite shows celebrating an anniversary this year? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to like, subscribe, and check out these other videos.